kamu gege lu gege ni sha won ni ya lara kamu gege lu gege ni sha won lo de jiro fa no no tupe agbon mi ni ni le eja apajuba ni pare aparoje aje afunladigbe won mo le fun laye won mo torun oni ko wo le torun ko tun ta ye se won won se ku pe mi oluwa to ni amo emi asabi o je aso fufu mo fi won se sin won agbonrin mi ti sin ojo iku mi ti ye o tun dola to ba dola a tun ko la to ba tun wa ku ola a tun di ola ni to wi wi pe kini enu enu bai let se fi pe ku ejo no ade wale are you mad or something <laughs> something i saw in my dream and i know it's relatable because i know yes it's happening Nigba ti Tony Abraham soro nipa cinema re eleeti o wa kaakiri nile cinema bayi iyen ijakumo o so wipe oju ala on ni on ti ri odu cinema yi wipe loju ala on ori YouTube ni on ti se si ni oju ala on kan na ni awon eyan tin gba on ni mo wipe eleeti ti on se jade yi o ti tobi ju ori YouTube ni kolo wipe ki o je cinema ko se si ta fun wo fa awon eyan bi o se bere ise lori eti o n fi gunle si eleeti o n se ti awon eyan tin lu ise na ni ogun enu kaakiri bayi Please, Ijakumo, Ijakumo, Ijakumo. What's going on? This is a new movie that is trending like this. What's the movie? Tell us about the movie. Um, it's about a pastor. You know, I actually saw the story in my dream. You know, there was a time I wanted to shoot Laje. So I've even been to a show for Reiki. So I slept and I had a dream. I'm not joking. You know, most times I dream a lot. I, I get, yes, I'm gifted. But I just, most times, you know, you just don't want to follow it. Mm -hmm. You just ignore. But now I've made up my mind to always follow the lead of the Holy Spirit. So I, so I saw it in my dream. In fact, in the dream, it was a YouTube movie. So a lot of people were telling me, ah, why do you make this kind of film for YouTube? Do cinema, let it be big. But I'm happy I made the movie. So it's about a pastor, you know. It's about people, what they do. It's double personalities. Yes, it's who they are. That's mm. so who they really are. You know, some people that come outside pretend to be all good. Mm. You know, like our society, we feel, oh, the people that talk, they're being themselves, they're the terrible ones, the ones who are calm, oh, only, only, they're the good ones. But I need to pause you for a second because I want us to watch the clip. Uh, yeah. Please, let's see the clip of Ijakumo. Yes, please. Now I want us to give the almighty God a shout at him. Raise it. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep people have God because of that. I'm not getting with you. 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 I'm not getting the seven generations of poverty. <laughs> it's everywhere. In fact, it opens at um, regular cinemas in the United States today. 
yeah. and Odeon Cinemas in UK today. I'm in Nigeria, Mahara. We started since 23rd now. Oh, so if I go to it's Genesis, it's or everywhere, all those it's cinemas. It's everywhere in Nigeria. Oh, definitely. It's the okay. smallest cinema. So let me ask about this. I will go with my partner this weekend. Please, yeah, please yeah, do. You will love it because it's, I, like it's it. actually I really love Let's talk about um, the, the writer, the script. Because sometimes when we see movies like this, we wonder, is it really real? Or do you just woke up one morning and just come up with a story, and then put it out there. Because many of our mothers, they believe that everything they see on Hollywood, ah, it's real. Ah. Ah. I'm not making one of my pieces. Mm. This is just it's fiction. fiction. It's just fiction. But is this inspired by real events, or is it pure fiction? Like I said, I saw it in my dream, but I realized that a lot of people can relate to it. It is relatable. Mm. It is my story. It is my story. I was telling us something that is rated. We have nudity, we have some like sex, everything is, is actually rated 18. Because if I really properly want to tell my story, I need those things to be there. Mm. So it's, um, it's some, something I saw in my dream. And I know it's relatable because I know, yes, it's happening. I've had a lot of stuff. But it wasn't a true life event. event. It was something I saw in my dreams. Yeah. But you can relate to it. Yeah. Okay. I've seen I've seen um, a lot of your work. I've seen um, elevate the marriage, uh, celebrity marriage, and some roles that you do. You make it so real, make it almost as if you've lived it. How do you fall into character? Is it because you've seen someone who's done it in the past, or it's just something at the time you you That's enter nice. into? How do you how do you get into? Um, you know, in life. Some people learn things, some people are gifted. Let me just say I'm talented, I'm gifted. So because I can, I can, yes, it comes naturally. So I can't really explain. I didn't learn it. When you give me scripts, I just read. Then maybe because I'm, I'm a free-minded pe person, I'm free with everybody. So when you give me a script, I'm sure I've met someone that beats like that. You understand? But it's not something I... I can't remember I think this gifted. one that was a an epic movie. I guess she call it. Uh, I guess she call it. The role was such that it was really traditional. I, I sat down, particularly watched your role twice, because of there was a gunshot and it was almost like there was a flashback. I was a bit okay. confused. I had to sit on that particular part twice, watching it again. And for that is why I'm asking the question, because that is something none of my uh, generation would have experienced, except maybe we see people do. And then you played it so well, it looked so real. Yeah. It must be something inspired from someone. Is it actually? You know, she called that role of the king's wife and the I mean, witches. that movie was fantastic. Was fantastic. Yeah. Relate, relate to the producer. Yes. Um, like yes. the yes. Yes. Bio, you know. tried. It yeah. I started my career as a Yoruba actress, and these are things we've done in the. I've done a lot of traditional movies, so I'm sure because this is like the first time something of such is coming to the cinema. So to me, it's no big deal. Yeah. This. Um, film that you're talking about that you saw it in your dream did you see the whole film in your dream or did it just come in flashes or how, how did you actually dream it i saw everything oh, i saw wow. the whole film but you know yes but you know when you are this there's, there's a difference between movies when you're when you are then when you want to write a story when you want to execute thank you when you want to execute it into a movie you, you cannot, there are some things you, you put, there are some things you remove, there are some things you have to put so that yeah. it will be at Elijah. least, yeah. yes, then it will be more entertaining. So we have to add some things, remove some things. Oh. But the concept, the story, actually, so it was a film. I saw people, I saw people coming out and they were telling me, you know, dream is, it comes in a funny way. You know, imagine people coming out from YouTube and telling me, ah, film me, I do more. So why will you do such movie? In, on YouTube, why not cinema? And they were coming out from YouTube. So I was like, oh. so I woke up, I just sent a voice note mm. to one of my wow. um, crew, who happens to be my friend, Tunji Afalayan, mm. is the art director. So I just, you know, I said, ah, this story is crazy. So I now called my writer, who, is, mm. who happens to be Kende Joseph. So I called Mr. Kende, I told him the story was like, Tony, if this is not the best story I've ever had, this is going to be one of the best stories. And when Kendi, when Kendi Joseph tells you that Kendi is big, like one of the biggest writers we have, <laughs> I'm sure in Africa, is big, you know. So when he tells you that, know that, yes. Because yeah. sometimes when you call him, you tell him story, we just tell you, okay, it will go. You will not see him again. <laughs> because I think sometimes he doesn't know how to tell you that I don't like the story. Sorry. Well, lazy folks like me, I mean, many of us are very lazy. We're just so used to Netflix. 
Prime video, you know, like that's the easiest thing to do. Mm -hmm. At some yes. point, do we look forward to you coming on, on, on any of these um, oh, yes. online platforms? Yes, of course. Eventually. After the uh, like a manifest, yes, we do answer these people. We are making at least we are Nigeria, we are over 200 million, mm -hmm. and um, we are we just opened today at Regal Cinemas in the United States. Why well, in the United States? It's pretty big, Maryland, yeah. yeah. Atlanta, yeah. Houston, New York. Um, all the Oakland, Fled, uh, yes, almost okay. all the regular cinemas, okay. and we are in like eight sites: Odeon, Greenwich, um, Syracuse. Being someone who's done movies that I've seen on large scale, this is not your first time in the cinema. I can count this is my fifth time. So we know that you have experience. What what is it like funding production? Because I find it when I see some level small small people coming out and say I'm an actress and a producer, I'm like. Ah, is it everybody that produces? Mm. As how is cheap is this production team? Mm. Yeah. What exactly? How is it funding full production like you? Jacob? Thank you so much for this question. Yeah. Trust me, this question means a lot to me. You know, some people think I back then they think I shoot a bad movie. No, I don't shoot a bad movie. I shoot a low budget movie. Mm. You know why? Because there's no fund. I'm an actress. This is the only thing I do. I tried going into business, but it doesn't work for me. I just realized business is not my thing. My thing is to do movies, act, then talk about other people's products and get paid for it. Render services, you know. So I stopped. So this is the only thing that puts food on my table. And I'm not from a rich home, you know. Everything you'll see, everything I am, it is gold and my hard work. Mm. And huge thanks to my fans, Tony Titans. I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. And to my wonderful team, thank you guys so much. You know, so... It's the money that I have, the budget that I have, I'm going to shoot with. Yeah. So if I have three million, I would cut my coat according to my size. So when you see it, it is not a bad movie. It is not a bad story. But it's a low budget. Yeah. Because sometimes I'm supposed to use maybe champagne here. I'll go and look for maybe one cheap thing or what I'll just, you know, yeah. just use. I won't even, I just won't. So you will yeah. know. I might want to get an apartment. Okay, see a rich person. Okay, imagine I have three million to shoot a movie. And there's a house. Okay, we want to try and do good. maybe governor or maybe a senator that is rich, a rich person. And I get to the location and I have maybe like 25 scenes. And you're telling me to pay 500 or 800,000 per day to shoot in the house. Is a long Mukodani? Yeah. Are you getting it? So I want to cut. So at the long run, you will now say I'll just use one small plate. But a lot of people will not focus on the story. Like just, just there are things like bank of industry and organizations. Oh, it, if you just hear about it, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. But now, my last movie, The Ghost and the Tower, was better. But this, I'm sure this is one of the mm -hmm. best movies they've ever shot in Nigeria. I'm saying this with my full chest. Mm -hmm. And I shot with a lot of millions. 2022 Rose Royce. Yes, there are some locations. There's my godparents. There are some I paid for. You know, my godparents, Mr. and Mrs. Fakwe, they were. There are cars, there are um, yeah. boats, some things, you know. But now I can confidently tell because I shot for like six or almost seven weeks. Wow. Because, yes, because there's money to shoot. Mm, right. There's money to shoot. So it wasn't, so it's not a bad movie. So now everybody's, oh, it's just more wonderful because it was fun. There was money. Yeah, and my was... brand is bigger. I can talk to brands. Yes. I have like three brands gave me money. I don't want to mention brand's name. So now I can walk into any brand and tell them, okay, I need yeah, you to money. support. They, they will because now they trust my.